and I take a long way to my desk once I'm inside, so they're not noticing that I'm late. <laughs> and I pass by the executive boardroom, and I see a guy with shocking red hair coming out of the executive washroom and carrying with him the executive washroom key, you know, with a big stick attached to the end of it. But instead of returning this executive washroom key, you know, with a big stick attached to the end of it, he's escaping into the stairwell. So I follow him down 14 flights of stairs. He gets into a taxi. I also get into a taxi. Driver, follow that car. I'm sorry, but I cannot follow that car. What do you mean you cannot follow that car? Mr. This is an Uber. We don't do that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I work out a deal with him and we are following that car. So we're behind this guy with the executive washroom key and I can see that it's a very long stick because it's barely inside the car. He even has to tie a flag onto the end of it so that it's not poking out the eyes of any passers by or coming too close. <laughs> When I was speeding down the FDR Parkway, turning on to 25th Street, when the driver says to me, uh, <clears throat> my wife, she just called me, she has some groceries, they're heavy. Can we stop for a second? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Uh, his wife's a lovely woman, except she's a bit of a skin condition, a kind of acne on the side of her face. But I was impressed that she was able to easily sneak through the cracked window without us having to slow down too much and, you know, lose this guy with the executive <laughs> washroom key. <laughs> well, now the guy ahead of us is driving and he stops. And he's going into a restaurant while still carrying with him the key. So we wait. The driver says probably he's just going to use the restroom. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Well, now I'm thinking that maybe this key is some sort of skeleton key. You know, that is giving universal access to any washroom so long as you have this key. <laughs> and the driver's wife says that in her country it's not uncommon to have such a key. But if it were to get into the wrong hands, it would be a very serious matter. Well, now I'm thinking that maybe a disgruntled person could gain access to a major sports figure or worse. Well, now I'm thinking that if it were me, I would go to Lionel Richie's house. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there he is now. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. You're all I ever wanted and my arms are open wide. What are you doing inside my washroom? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to admit this executive washroom key. <laughs> yes, I know, but it's the washroom in my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have this executive washroom <laughs> key. <laughs> Get away from me with that stick. Well, clearly this is much more menacing than I imagined. Well, now he gets back into the car and just continues to drive, but traffic is terrible. So he gets out to work, and me and the driver's wife decide to follow him on foot. Well, he almost saw us, but we were able to seek shelter in the door. We have a shop. Well, what do you think this shop just happens to be selling that luxury men's and ladies' hair pieces? <laughs> <laughs> I go inside and I see on the wall a replica of this same shocking red hair piece that this guy is wearing. So I pick up two. One for me and a large for the driver's wife. <laughs> so that we could get much closer to him by appearing to be more like one of his own. 
<laughs> so are we on approaching him wearing our shocking red hair pieces? Nice day, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> he asks me. No, which I can. <laughs> Well, clearly this is some sort of code because now he's passing me the key. So I pass it to the driver's wife who's handing it back to him, who's handing it back to me. Well, now he's starting to panic. So we're also panicking, so he doesn't realize that we're noticing that he's panicking. He <laughs> runs, she runs, and me. I have the key, so I'm starting to run too. And I'm running and running. And I realize that I'm a few blocks away and the driver pulls up beside me his wife in the back seat, I jump in and we are speeding away to safety. Well, it turns out that this key was really just an executive washroom key. But <laughs> the stick attached to the end of it was a rare example of petrified wood that was going to be that was stolen from Con Edison's own museum of petrified wood <laughs> and was going to be sold on the open market of petrified wood. Not anymore. <laughs> so, in appreciation for my assistance, they are giving me my own copy to the executive work from Keith. <laughs> <laughs>